Okay, welcome everybody to another MTGO League. Going to be running a variation of Neoform Attractor in Pioneer today. Um, this I found on on Twitter actually. Someone called Adam Cohen um, has apparently been doing quite well with this, and I quite like the look of it, so I thought I'd give it a go. So this is another one using the Soul Flare package. So four um, copies of Soul Flare as our delve threat is a little bit uh, slower, so can't do can't do a tractor on turn three, but you can, if we end up milling a tractor or um, Zatalpa, we can we can make an enormous soul flare that has all of the keywords that they do as well, which is um, often, you know, yeah, just just really, really good. So um, yeah, excited to try this. Some interesting cards on the sideboard. We've got a Liliana Death's Majesty as like a alternate, alternate win con and can also buy back cards from the graveyard, which is, obviously pretty good for us. A um, couple of Ritual of Soots to make up for the fact that we're not actually running any Fatal Pushes in the main, just some Collective Brutalities. So, um, so yeah, but really excited to try this. Let's uh, get into round number one. Right, let's see how we go. We're going to mulligan this hand. Only one land. And uh, this hand is better. Okay, so we can keep this and we'll put the Attractor on the bottom. So uh, yeah, on the draw here. And yeah, I should say big thanks to everyone that has subscribed recently. And if you're enjoying the content, please do consider consider doing so. Um, yeah, let's see how we get on. So another Grizzly Salvage, not too bad. I think we're just gonna Thought Seize on one. Could get Spell Pierced, I guess, but I think it's better than Cycling Riverwinder potentially. Okay, well, we're definitely taking the Iconoclast. This looks like the eight Pyromancer list potentially. Okay, so they opt. They put one on the bottom. Okay, there's Den. Okay, so we're going to play the Mana Confluence and pass and then we'll go Grizzly Salvage. So another Spire Bluff, they drew that at some point. They add Gigantha, so that's good with us. Um, we'll take a, do you want Soul Flare? Yeah, I think we'll just take Soul Flare here because then we can, um, we can cycle the Riverwinder and then give it Hexproof. Ooh, Neoform though. Uh, okay, so that's just a Traxxer, right? Because we go Swamp, Taziga, Delve Out 5, Neoform. Yeah. So Taziga, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Neoform said Taziga. Slam a Traxxer into play. So we'll take a Mana Confluence, um, I guess another Taziga. Do you want an, it will take a backup Neoform just in case, I think that's probably better than Thoughtseize. Um, so, so we got Creature, Sorcery, Land, I think that's fine. Let's pass the turn. And then this turn, we might just go. Yeah, we've got a Stripe Riverwinder in hand, so we can make a 4 4 with Hex Proof. Okay, so <laughs> opponents just had enough, can't uh, beat the turn 3 attracts us. So obviously, that near form is a good draw. So, probably want the Mystical Disputes here, mm, probably the Fatal Push as well. Um, Weirdly, Ray of Enfeeblement could be good if they're on the third path stuff. Uh, brutality seems fine. What do we think? Eldritch Evolution is possibly a little bit slow against things like Spell Pierce. Um, considering Ritual of Soot, I think we can probably cut some number of foundings given we're bringing in Mystical Disputes. Do you want Stubborn Denial? No, against against this I think we can take that out. Do we want to bring in a Ritual of Soot? It's four mana, I think I'd rather just have a ray. Maybe an extra ray. 
Hold on, is the path I kind of class a 2 1 or a 1 2? Let me just have a quick look. Third. That's a 2 1. Okay, so yeah, Ray of Enfeeblement's fine. Let's try this. I can't think what graveyard hate they might play. They might play. Um, yeah, they might play unlicensed hearse I guess so gonna mulligan this I think we could dump these two in and hope to find a, a neo form uh, sorry a soul flare but I think we're gonna mulligan hmm, this is awkward as well I think we have to mulligan again we're just not doing anything this is better so we can keep this get rid of confluence and salvage oh hold on no, we need to keep Confluence, we'll ditch Botanical Sanctum Salvage. Yeah, we need um, Confluence because we need double black for Soul Flare at some point. So you're getting to use Grizzly Salvage in this deck instead of... Um, yeah, instead of Strategic Planning. So let's play a shores and pass. Opponent's shocked in, so probably an opt or consider. Yep, yeah, gotta consider. Uh, they keep they like what they see on the top. Okay. So yeah, we'll just go otherworldly gaze here. Um, neoform. Hmm. I think we'll go graveyard top top and then we can this turn we can go founding founding into salvage We might end up with this getting spell pierced, but that's still probably okay. Okay, make disappear. Okay, so we have Neo form on top. Okay. So we can just play the Watery Grave tapped and then we can look to either flashback Otherworldly Gaze or play Grizzly Salvage. I'll probably play Grizzly Salvage here. No third land for the opponent and no creature either. Okay, let's go Grizzly Salvage. Um, I think we just take Taziga here. Yeah, happy just taking Taziga. Putting Zatalpa in the graveyard is good. If we find an untapped land, might go for Soul Flayer. We do. Okay, let's. We're shocking this in anyway. So let's just go. Soul Flayer would be. Yeah, Soul Flayer is just going to be massive here. We could go Taziga. What are we worried about? I guess um, maybe we're meant to just go Taziga. Play around Mystical Dispute. I think Soul Flare is fine. So it's a Talpa, a Traxa, Marsh, Marsh. Oh, Disdainful Stroke. Okay. So now I think we just go for Tazaga. Get rid of Soul Flare. Salvage, Salvage, Founding. And then we'll just pay the extra one. Yeah, probably should have thought of Disdainful Stroke. But um, 
still got a Taz again. We've got a Neo form ready to go as well. But I think for now we're fine just holding on. We can activate Taziga as well if we want. Or cast Otherworldly Gaze. I think we're just happy to pass back and start getting a bit of card advantage. So yeah, just activate Taziga here. Why well, don't we get Gaze back? I think we'll do that upkeep. Uh, graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. Ooh, dispute's good. <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna. Do we think attracts a? Yeah, it's just um, we try and go for the attracts here. Well, actually, I think I'm just gonna go for Soul Flare. Get rid of the attract in the graveyard because if the opponent has both dispute and pierce we don't want to lose the attractor although neoform doesn't lose to another disdainful stroke i think this is fine don't know how many disdainful strokes they run but I mean, we make a Death Touch Vigilance Flying Life Link uh, <laughs> Soul Flayer, so that's pretty good. Also protected against um, like a Crackling Drake or something here. Ledger Shredder. Well, we could dispute that, but. Okay, so yeah, we'll, well, how much do we want to just dispute that? Because I think, actually, I think I'm just going to hold on to the dispute for, uh, like, this is just so, this is just showing spell pierce too much, I think. Another soul flare. Um, okay, well, we'll just attack with everything. They go to two, and then we'll just neoform. Uh, sack the Tazaga. Could put a Strike Riverwinder in, but Tractor's probably better. Uh, take Brutality, Ray of Enfeeblement, Mana Confluence, Tazaga, I think. Play the land. Oh, we've played a spell this turn. So don't really want. Yeah, I guess we'll just um, ray in the opponent's upkeep. Oh, hold on. We could have just collected brutality them to death, right? <laughs> okay, well, uh, that was a bit of a punt. But, oh well, it's fine. This, yeah, they are at two life, so. We're going to Aether Gust. We'll let them draw dis. Well, maybe we shouldn't let them draw discard. Uh, yeah, we'll just dispute. They get to draw discard again. Yeah, should have just obviously brutality them last turn. Okay, they draw some cards. That's fine. Yeah, Collective Brutality last turn was definitely the play. Could be like Treasure Cruising or something, but yeah, that really doesn't do anything to worry us. Yep. 
Okay, so did miss lethal there with collective brutality, but good to get the win. Um, see you for the next round. Right, round number two, we would like to play first. Um, I'm going to mulligan this one, not doing anything too quick. We've got five lands. Um, hmm, this is okay. It's not amazing. Okay, so we'll lead off with Botanical Sanctum Pass. Probably won't Stubborn Denial of Thought Seize. Yeah, no, we're not going to Stubborn Denial that. Um, them taking a card helps us delve out Tazaga quicker. Potentially. They'll probably take Stub here. They take a Tazaga. So we'll go. Um, so we definitely want the watery grave. Do we want the grizzly salvage as well? If we put this, will go into the graveyard. If we put two in the graveyard, that will be a total of th uh, one, two, three, four. If we dump all of them and rip a land, hmm. well, we're definitely going to put that into the graveyard. We could go Tazaga, but then I think we'll just go Graveyard Top. But they took a Tazaga, which mm, maybe that means that we're meant to. They either have a kill spell or they have another Thought Seize. Do which one do we want to play around? Well, we can flash back otherworldly gaze. I think. I think we. I don't think we'll play around another thought seize. I think we want to play around a kill spell instead. Could be rogues or something here. Um, do we go gaze from hand or gaze from greed? I think we'll go gaze from hand. So go graveyard. We kind of want that neo form. So go top, top. So let me go land Tazaga. One, two, three, four. Do we overpay? They know the last card in our hand. When they could be on, it could be the mirror, and they could have stub. I guess. No, it's overpay. I think. Well, there's no nothing for one mana that counters Tazaga. Has to be. It can't be drowning the lock either. So we know there's a neo form on top. Okay, so it is rogues. Ooh, okay, so that does mill our neo form, which is a bit of a problem. But actually, the, the fact that we're delving things away <laughs> is quite just randomly good against rogues. Uh, right, each opponent mills two if they have eight or more, so we don't actually have that many. Okay. Draw. The tracks are not the best draw there. Um, I think we're attacking. Or another rogue. So let's say... Uh, they'd have to go... I think we're fine just attacking here. Like if they go... Yeah, yeah, I think that's just fine. Okay, Fairy Mastermind. Fairy Rogue. So 2-1. 
okay uh, yeah so you can make this is it okay you draw a card okay just with that so looking to um, <laughs> yeah opponent looking to give this death touch I think so we can assume they have some more rogues in hand at least one Okay, we'll just stub that, I think. And then go otherworldly gaze. Um, plus two, plus one. Okay, so we'll go graveyard, graveyard, top. Okay, so which one would we like to kill? And what I think we'll do collective brutality, we'll do two modes. So I think we're just going to kill the enforcer because it blocks our Tazaga. So minus two, minus two, and then. So this does make the clock quicker, but I think I'd rather have this just in case they've got drown in the lock. Get rid of a track, sir. Uh, okay, well, shielded edict does the same thing. Oh, shielded is quite annoying. We'll take the edict. Attack. So you know, they've got double fatal push and shielded. So land is pretty bad. Actually, there's quite a lot of bad draws. <laughs> um. Yeah, quite a lot of bad draws for us here. I wonder if we're meant to upkeep gaze. Or do we just take a random draw? The trouble is if we find Neoform we can't play it anyway. I think we'll take a random draw this time. Petty Theft. Okay, that's okay. So now I guess we gaze because we can definitely cast the Tazigur. Although, no, I don't think so because if we find exactly Neoform, we can just make an Attraxer. Okay, so it's Tazigur. Get rid of Besiege this. Actually, we might as well get rid of what we don't want them to give us back so I don't think we care about stub at the moment uh, one two so we want to keep the gazes so we don't want them to give us back a track so even if yes yeah, it's, it's bad if we top deck soul flare but um, salvage stub don't mind them giving us back brutality. Although we'd rather Neo form, I guess. Maybe get rid of one gaze. No, just do that. Play the land. Yeah, like Shieldred's gonna be a problem if they find a land. Okay, tap land is, is good for us. We know their cards in hand. So yeah, now we just really need to see so, yeah, let's go otherworldly gaze. Stub. Uh we don't want any of that. So I think we're going to do it in upkeep again. Really looking for Neo form here. Okay, so actually, oh, founding is close. So we'll go uh, graveyard top top. Oh, we 
tap the wrong mana. Oh, that's rough. Um, okay, so next turn. Ah, I needed to keep up the... I suppose we needed to keep up this because we're looking for Neoform. Um, let's go... Uh, do we want to go for Neoform next turn or do we want to go for Soul Flayer? So Soul... Fl I think we'll just go for neo form so we'll go just go oh we're going to draw this turn right but then that's not really any good i think we'd rather so let's just go top top okay okay so we can't do anything with this at the moment We'll attack. Pass the turn and then hmm, actually three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, well it's gonna be close. So if they attack us for five, okay, this is fine. So they're gonna go shielded. We'll go founding. We could go soul flare, I guess. Oh, hold on. Oh, the hive is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Because next to, oh no, we need, we, okay. So we need to go founding. So we get a five. Actually, this might not even be enough. Because we need to go. F so we go founding neo form. Put a track. Get a track, sir. I guess we could draw something. Put a track into play. Then they attack with the. They can't attack with these, but they could attack with. Oh yeah. Okay. So they win, right? Unless we go Soul Flayer. So if we just go attract, sir, uh, there's nothing really for one mana we can hit, and we just die because they can attack us in the air. And with this. But if we go Soul Flayer. If we go Soul Flayer, let's say, yeah, they attack with everything, but this has Life Link and Flying. So then we'd gain four up to nine. I think we have to, yeah, we have to play the soul flare here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think we have to do that. Okay, we can't attack. Oh, we probably should have mill. Yeah, we should have milled ourselves there. So we could have gone founding on two, mill four, see what we find. Because we, if we find a Zatalpa, so if they swing out, we go block, block, and live. I guess milling ourselves, the only problem with that is it turns on potentially drowning the lock. Are we going to see any attacks? They haven't animated high, which is a good sign. So 
They are attacking with everything. Okay, so we go block here. And then if we don't block, so that takes us to nine and then we go to, so yeah, we go to three. I think we block here. Something like that. But losing the Tazig is obviously a bit annoying, but. Pretty scared of another Brazen Borrower on the Soul Flayer. I mean, we're probably dead to that anyway. Maybe we're not meant to block with a Tazaga. So let's say we don't. Let's say they've drawn nothing. We take six. We gain four. Go up to six. Uh, sorry, go up to nine, and then take six, and then go to one in the opponent's upkeep in our draw step. But then we win the game on the swing back unless they, well, they have to animate this. If we block with Tazagur, is that better for us? This has got Vigilance, so what if we just do this? And then we go attack four, we gain another four life. I kind of want to Neoform the Tazagur though. I think we're going with this. If they bounce this, we lose. But if they've got a bounce spell anyway, then we probably lose as well. We can't shock in now, and we won't be able to. But we. Oh, that's difficult. Game four to nine, take six. Don't know, let me know what you do in this spot. I don't think I'm blocking. I guess would have... Oh, actually that was wrong. Should have blocked there. Reason being um, because we're dead to the... What's it called? The Soaring Thought Thief. Another consideration is like, oh, Collective Brutality is a really good draw. Or is it? Do we care? Okay, so we'll attack with everything. They're going to have to block with the hive. Also worth noting that they could have fatal pushed their thing. If they could have got revolt. So yeah, if we tried to block the mastermind, they could have fatal push to stop us gaining the life. Okay, so opponent goes to four, we get a five. So we could go brutality, kill this. So is that going to be better. They haven't got a menace guy anymore. I would really like to brutality. Let's say they attack. We can just block here. They've got two. Yeah, I think we're just I think we're just going for it. So read ahead chapter 3. Get rid of neoform. Cast neoform get rid of Tazaga, put Atraxa into play. Um, I don't really want to shock in, but we could play Hooting Mandrills, I guess. Neoform is no good anymore. So I'll take Founding, uh, Blooming Marsh, Thoughtseize, Mandrills. Could have got Mana Confluence Mandrills, I suppose, but. Yeah, 
that one point of life might be the difference. You know, if we go to four, it's only two shield reactivations. Actually, yeah, if we go to four, they can make us draw a card with this. So yeah, yeah, had to do that. Okay, so lucked out into the right play there. Yeah, definitely didn't want to do that because yeah, otherwise they just drain us with um, shielded twice. But we get the win at round one against, in game one against rogues. So like Raven Feed went again against one toughness creatures. Mystical dispute is probably good. Um, Thought Seize is fine. Eldritch Evolution is probably a little bit slow. Uh, what they are def mm, I might I think I'm going to bring in the Assassin's Trophies here because I think they're on. I think they're on unlicensed hearse. Uh, d d what else? Like Thought Seize is fine. Would we prefer duress? Probably not. Fatal Push seems fine. Low. Yeah, Fatal Push. Uh, I think, yeah, another match we can probably trim the foundings. So uh, I think we still, maybe we meant to trim on Delve Threats. Maybe we trim one Tazaga or one Soul Flayer. Let's trim a Tazaga. Maybe we trim the stubs. Although they are in Kaito that we saw. We've brought in some mystical disputes. Let's trim one stub and maybe brought in quite a lot of kill spells. Is it just both stubs? Yeah, okay. I think that's probably fine. Let's try that. So yeah, they're gonna. They, I suppose they find it quite hard to beat an attractor. Shieldred's good out of their their deck. Mm, this hand is quite painful and really relies on gaze. I think if we find well, yeah, it relies on gaze to find another land. Um, but we do have some good cards. I think it's close, but a mulligan. Sadly, this is worse. But that, into, yeah, we're going to mulligan again. Okay, this is fine. Uh, we'll bottom one copy of Neoform. Is it just both Neoforms? Is that crazy? Yeah, I think that's fine. Just try and maybe play a bit of a fairer game. Okay, Shores isn't too bad a draw, it does mean we lose less life from, uh, from these. Okay, so let's take, we'll just take the Soaring Thought Thief, just take whatever threats we can. This turn we'll play the Mana Confluence and Thought sees the Shieldred. Okay, they find duress, which is pretty good. Maybe we should have just thought seize the shieldred. Brutality. I think we'll save that for a kill spell. Or well, before we need to resolve something good. Okay, Ottawara. Okay, trophy's not too bad. Probably counter a, a rogue here. We'll definitely counter Shieldred. Um, I think we'll just dispute that. Although this is disaster if they have Drown the Lot. Oh, okay. So now they take our answer to 
Shieldred. I suppose that didn't really matter. We take brutality, which is interesting. I suppose they can kill a threat. Um, yeah, I'll just keep playing. Uh, yeah, just keep playing the lines. We haven't actually got Gigantha in this list because of Soul Flayer. So you can't just buy that at some point. So what we could do with finding is, I guess, well, I guess Del Threat into Neoform isn't that great. I mean, it's good, but uh, that's actually one of our better draws. But yeah, we, uh, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is we, if we find Del Threat, they just kill it immediately. So we might end up having to trophy that, but we'll see what we draw. We can play and flash this back, which is nice. Hmm. Okay, otherworldly gaze. So we'll go graveyard, graveyard, top, because we need a threat. Hmm. So go. We could just play two soul flares out, but there's nothing in the graveyard that I think will go. Graveyard, graveyard, top again. And then in our upkeep. Okay, so that's pretty, oh yeah, that's great. Okay, so we'll go graveyard, graveyard, top. Because now we can go this and they can't kill it. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it has hexproof. Maybe we should. Oh, we probably should have uh, delved out a bit more because of the scavenger. <laughs> did I accidentally delve out in otherworldly gaze? Oh no, I don't think so. I think we did. Uh, maybe we should have just. No, yeah, we couldn't afford to wait forever there. Another gaze is interesting. We'll attack. Ooh, yikes. So we're probably going to have to trophy this at some point. Okay, I'll take six here. This is pretty good, this uh, scavenger. Okay, so we know the two cards in their hand. So, yeah, what do we need? Let's gaze. Definitely don't want that. So graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. 
and then we'll just do it again. Okay, that's us. This isn't too bad. Um, so we can push this. Ravenfield is not going to be any good though, so we'll go graveyard. We do need Tazaga. The trouble is, we can't push this very easy, so we're going to have to trophy this. Yeah, we're gonna have to trophy this big one, big guy. Push the enforcer potentially. Um, I think we probably have to trophy now. Just in case they find spell pierce or something. And then we'll go block the enforcer with the soul flare and then push shieldred. Oh, actual shield red. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, we've got we've got Tazaga coming in. Like, yeah, we, we've only got six minutes left. We can just concede here. Okay, so that was pretty rough. Yeah, that thought seize was a bit awkward. I wonder if we want ritual of soot deals with that scavenger or Liliana don't really want to be milling two cards I guess um, maybe we just run it back yeah let's try <laughs> gonna have to play pretty quickly maybe Ray of Enfeeblement's not that great actually we saw the Soaring Thought Thief, which is only plus one plus O, oh, I think. Okay, what do we think of this? Pretty rubbish, Mulligan. One land. Um.
Right, apologies. Miss, lost the audio on that last the last bit of that last round against Rogues, but had a pretty rough time. Um, I've, I've left the video on there, so you can go and have a look. But yeah, we were just about to get back into it with a uh, soul flare, I think, but then ended up yeah being just being destroyed by thought seas. But um, we're moving on. This hand is, I think, I think we can just about keep. Don't yeah, we mulligan quite a lot in the last game. I that that shouldn't affect what we decide here but um yeah gonna give it a go okay grizzly salve is actually a really good draw so this turn we'll go we'll hold up stub here looks like mono green so we'll stub a okay we can't stub that okay so we'll go graveyard i really want to grizzly salvage here but we could brutality Hmm. No, I think we just I think we're just dumping all of these into the graveyard. Cause we really need to look for um a creature. A one mana delve threat here. Really looking for yeah, Tazaga. Be amazing. Um, who's Tezago or Hooting Mandrills really wouldn't yeah wouldn't mind finding I guess if we find Soul Flare and we've managed to dump a Traxxor or a Satalpa or something in then that would be good but Let's see could flashback gaze instead but yeah salvage digs digs five deep don't really want to be taking stuff out of the graveyard. I don't think we'd stub much here. Like they could go cure, I guess. Well, do we need to stub that? Like we probably do. Because otherwise they can go and get... Uh, yeah, they could go and get Torpor Orb. Okay, just draw. Play the Dark Slick Shores and pass. Yeah, we kind of had to stub there. Oh, haven. Another Haven. Okay, no extra land though. Attack for five. Obviously salvage. Ugh, that's rough. Okay, so we'll take I guess botanical sanctum. Um yeah, we'll just draw mm, a traxa. Not good. Um guess we'll cast Grizzly Salvage now. Okay, we find Tazaga. So we can play that which stems the bleeding. Uh, get rid of Tazaga. Four, five. Play the Sanctum, get some painless green mana out there. Next turn we can Neoform into a Traxxer. Looks like this might be a Storm though. Okay, Cavalier's okay. They do hit a Nykthos though. Oh, and they find the land to do it. Oh, that's rough. Another Cavalier. Another land. At least having reach is such a problem for us as well. Another Tazaga. Okay, so let's just go Neoform. Put a Traxxer into play. So we'll take... Soul Flayer, 
is the creature. Uh, instant land sorcery enchantment. So we do draw a lot of cards there. <laughs> um, so we could soul flare here. There's no decent cards in the graveyard though. Um, opponent's top decking. Let's play a land. So he could go brutality. The opponent can't just attack. We could just play a Tazaga. Um, we could. I think it's Tazaga gaze. Or we could go founding into something. So we could go. I think. Well, we're definitely playing Tazaga. What don't we want them to give us? So we don't want Neoform or another Tazaga or an Evolution or any of the Thought Seizers. I suppose we could have gazed first. Right, so hopefully the opponent doesn't find anything here. Storm the festival, definitely the worst. Trouble is, we can't. We're going to struggle to attack with this Atraxa. Okay, cure is fine. Because when we attack with um, Atraxa. I think we are going to have to attack the tracks, uh, so we'll make the most of our mana here. Go graveyard, graveyard. Don't really know what we're looking for. Something to help us punch through damage, I suppose. Um, it's on top of their library as well, which is irritating because we can't. Even like founding thoughts, ease graveyard, graveyard. Don't want any of this. Okay, there's a thought seize, also not great. Oh, I suppose we could go brutality, drain them for two. This is on top, isn't it? On top of your library. So if they put Khan on the top, they probably win. So we probably can't attack here. Really need to find a stubborn denial. But how do we find that? I guess we just, let's do this one, two, Okay, we'll just cast this. Minus two, minus two, lose two, gain two. Kill this, kill this. Although, I guess we might as well do it with founding. Oh, that's a good point. We could potentially mill them. Oh, that was, okay, that was stupid actually. Because <laughs> we could have gone Uh, this, this. Yeah, we could have. Um, attacked with. Yeah, we're not attacking. So we could have attacked with. A tracker. They put something on top. And then we mill it with founding. That would have been better. Okay, another cavalier. And they get to draw a card. Yeah, this is pretty rough. And they hit a storm from the graveyard, yeah. Pretty good draw. Yep, 
Yeah, not much we could have done about that. And that's probably just the combo, right? They just go and get chain veils and stuff. Yeah, I th I, yeah, we're not going to make them go through it. It's just, I, yeah, really not a big fan of this deck. It's fallen away in popularity a little bit, I think. Okay, so Ether Gust in probably the duresses. Um, I guess we're just trying to turbo to attract sir. Summer Denial is probably fine. We'll bring in another one. Trophy is probably also fine. Brutality is not that great. Um, Duress as well. I guess we can't take their creatures with it, so it's probably not amazing. Zatalfa is probably a little bit slow. Pithy Needle's good. Um, probably won't push as well. Trim a founding, trim an evolution. Maybe trim another. Z well, actually, it's probably striped riverwinder. Let's try that. See how we get on. Yep. Okay, so we've got a stub. Yeah, this is an o. Yeah, this is okay. So we'll just go breeding pool tapped because I don't think there's likely to be anything we want to stub on one. This turn we'll go founding. Hopefully, we we'll draw push or something. Okay, mandrills. That's not actually too bad, so we'll do this. Putting it on one again so we get sort of maximum flexibility next turn. There's the Haven Oath. Well, Khan the Great Crit is pretty good, um, but we can stub and denial it, hopefully. Although we don't find another land. Oh, that's really rough, actually. Because we have to go mandrills for all our mana, then we can't stub the Khan. And they can go and get Stone Brain potentially, get rid of all of our Traxxas. Ugh, really want to land there. One, two, three, four, f they've only got five mana. Although they just play Cavalier. Nykthos. Okay, another stub's not great. Okay, so we'll just go Neoform. Hopefully find a land off this that can generate blue. Mana Confluence, uh, Assassin's Trophy, Pithing Needle. I guess Tazaga. Thought sees. So we hit quite a lot of stuff. T the question is do we hold up stub or do we thought sees or pithing needle? I think we're holding up stub. So bin neoform and Tazid dude or Soul Flare. Let's go Soul Flare. More expensive. 
Trouble is, yeah, the opponent's got a lot of mana now. If we can survive this turn, I quite fancy our chances. It's got five cards. We know one of them's a Khan, which will stub. The next turn we can go attack. If they block with Cavalier, we then trophy the Nykthos in response in after they've put something on top. Okay, so the elf is free in terms of mana. If they've got two big payoffs, that's where we're in trouble. We're missing that land really, really hurt. So we're gonna stub here. Well, what if we don't stub? So we don't stub, they go and get a they could go and get a creature. Have they played a land? They haven't. So they've got three, four, five. If they go land storm, that's when we're in trouble. But if they go and get cityscape leveller, yeah. Although we can thought seize it. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have stubbed there. And oh, it's storm, isn't it? Yeah, we should have let the calm resolve, knowing that we could thought seize the next one. Yeah, spin the wheels, see what they get. Hopefully, I mean, yeah, we have to just hope they miss now. We've got rid of two Khans. Ah, oh, they find another Khan. Okay. Let's see what they're going to get. They do get the leveler. Okay, so yeah, that would have been probably a slightly better play. Okay, no land is pretty rough so let's go we're going to thought seize the leveler pithing needle the khan i mean we can attack khan They know we've got Pithing Needle. Okay, so calm down. Oh, hold on. This is. Ah, oh, this has got stupid. Whatever it is. Unearth. Is Unearth. Is Unearth cast or is it an activated ability? Let me just check. Because if it's an activated ability, we can Pithing Needle. So let's see. Unearth is an activated ability. Okay, so we go Thought Seize, Pithing Needle, Hold Up. Yeah, so Thought Seize. Another Khan, the Great Creator. Great. <laughs> um. Oh, whenever you cast and whenever it attacks. So actually we could go... Oh, we can just stub this, right? So we go take the leveler. Pithing needle. City. Escape leveler. And then pass the turn. Then we stub and denial the Khan. I suppose they can flashback Storm as well. Well, yeah, maybe that was wrong. I'm kind of tempted to let them have Storm. Just get rid of the Khan. I'm six, seven. So they can Storm the Festival. 
but if they have another leveler or something, I think we're just stubbing. Yeah, now they're just gonna storm. Again, we're hoping for a miss. But they've gone through three copies of Khan, the great creator. Okay, just two Wolf Willow Havens, so that's not too bad. So, starts, I uh, probably should have um, done that. Okay, we'll just slam in now. Okay, see what they put on top. They could put the leveler on top. Okay, so now if we trophy this, they'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that's, I still have enough, which is annoying. Although they search it away, don't they? So we'll just go trophy here or do we just trophy this that would get rid of no it's just yeah it's just Nick Thos Nick Thos does stupid things oh I should have found him there really go has a dude uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five. Okay, I don't think they searched there. Oh, but yeah, it's when it attacks as well, isn't it? Oh, that's rough. No, we get a power stone token for what that's worth. <laughs> So we need to find an untapped land. Oh, that's rough. We need, yeah, we needed to find an untapped land to go founding trophy the leveler. So let's neoform this. Put in another attractor. Uh, okay, so we'll take. Oh, Beseju! Oh, yeah, that's what we want. Okay, so we'll take Beseju. Um, don't really want Push, Soul Flayer. Beseju, Soul Flayer, Salvage. Neo form. No land, but uh, oh, we can use. Oh no, that doesn't doesn't work. Okay, so. Um. Can't think of any reason to do this sorcery speed. Yeah, that was obviously a good hit. Had to find something to get rid of this leveler. I suppose they could find their own Beseju. Kiora. Okay. Wonder if we're meant to kill that. Maybe. Got another Neo form, so can go off again. Although, how many Attraxas are in the bin? <sighs> yeah, we do have another Attraxa. I guess we're kind of after as a Tulpa. 
Okay, we untap that. Might just smash us with the uh, layer of the Hydra. Which is fine, like we're gaining 8 life a turn, so we're not too bothered about that. So, yeah, three of their Khans have gone. Obviously, there's no way we block here. I think we're going to attack the Kiora. Hmm, probably should have otherworldly gazed there. So... Hmm. So you could go Soul Flayer, put a 4 4 flyer onto the battlefield. Kind of think, yeah, there's Grizzly Salvage because we could find a land potentially as well. Okay, take another mana confluence. Play the mana confluence. Oh, again, should have founding there. Um, yeah, I think we're attacking Kiora. Just because if they find a creature, we don't want that to be a thing, really. Um, is it worth saving the Soul Flayer f until we find something big into the graveyard? Should we just founding salvage this turn? Or is another 4-4 four, four Flyer for the best? Yeah, I think I think just adding pressure to the board is better. So tracks uh, uh, doesn't really matter three four. Okay, another death touch lifelink flyer. Also, Kiora is, does form part of the opponent's combo, so. Well, Cavalier of Thorns is a very good draw. Okay, so... <laughs> um, I think we'll go Gaze here. Graveyard, Graveyard, Graveyard. Another thought sees. Okay, so I think we'll just. Well, there's no point in attacking with that. We'll just attack with the attracts. Uh... And then when they put something on top, we'll founding make them mill. Hopefully, they don't hit a storm. Cityscape Leveler. Okay, so blue one. So we'll read ahead to make the mill. Oh, they hit a storm the festival. Ugh, <laughs> gross. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. We haven't got a stub. <laughs> so this is going to be storm. Probably. They've gone through three Khans and a load of cavalry. Another car and a Kiora. That's just gross. Oh, uh, that's really gross. Don't know what they're going to do with it. We'll find out, I suppose. Uh, do we have Assassin's Trophy? We do have Assassin's Trophy in the graveyard, so we can cast that this turn. We do have two Thought Seasers as well. Uh, 
We can untap here for five mana. I suppose they could go and get Torpor, uh, not Torpor, uh, the zero mana graveyard hate card, Tormod's Crypt. Oh, that's gross as well. Have they got enough to do it? Yeah, of course. We can kill. We can still kill the Kiora, and then put another Traxer into play and Trophy the Wand. Actually, yeah, because we can get that. So they go. They go kill a Traxer with this. We make an Ot. We make an ox and then we attack Khan with the Soul Flayer. And then trophy the wand. Tro attack, yeah, Khan with the Soul Flayer, trophy the wand, and then Neo form the Soul Flayer into an Atraxa. Probably the play. This is a yeah, pretty good card for them. Do it three times. Obviously, really can't afford to mill over our next attractor. Okay, so yeah, we have we have an ox. Not really doing much for us here. Okay, watery graves. Okay, so we'll cast uh, Assassin's Trophy. Get rid of the wand. They got rid of the uh, Soul Flayer there, which is interesting. Okay, so we'll have to kill the Khan, really. Then we'll just play a grave tapped. Okay, see what we draw. So they draw, sorry. Mmm, besays you the pithing. Yeah, that's a very good draw. That is confirmed a very good draw. Because now they just level her. It's again haste. And they get to draw a card from Kira. Yeah. Oh, I think we were pretty unlucky there. Does this get sacrificed? Yeah, I think this gets sacrificed, doesn't it? Or exiled. Uh, yeah, we're just not going to block. Send the ox at Kiora, maybe. Okay, they're untapping anyway. Okay, that's exiled. So let's salvage. Take Tazaga. Okay, opponent's got one card in hand. Okay, let's go Tazaga. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Probably should have done that a bit better, but playing, trying to play relatively quickly. He says tap in the wrong mana, get rid of Tazaga. I've only got 14 cards left. Okay, so we'll take another 
Oh no, we won't take that. We'll take Soul Flayer, uh, Gust. I think that's probably it actually. We don't really want to. Uh, Soul Flayer, Gust. Yeah, that's fine. Don't really want to take loads and loads of cards. Probably should have taken a land actually. Um. Guess we thought sees in case they've got something really good in hand. Another Beseju. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, a bit frustrating we haven't hit the uh, <laughs> Zatalpa. I think we're going to. But yeah, we can't tap out of Gust here. We could gust that. Or we just block it with the ox, actually. Yeah, we'll just block with the ox this turn. So we're going to gaze. Graveyard. Oh, uh... Yeah, we kind of want to put. We, yeah, we're kind of running out of cards. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the time's probably comes to just attack them because actually, if we put Soul Flare onto the battlefield now, we can win the game next turn. Okay, Soul Flare. Uh, let's make sure we get rid of a tracks. Uh, Hold up Gust. If the opponent attacks with um, Layer of the Hydra, we just take it. We're not gusting anything apart from a Cavalier of Thorns or a Storm. So hopefully they can't draw a card now. Well, we know they've got Besaidu in hand. So they've got Besaidu in hand. Don't think they can do anything now. Don't think this is enough for to kill us with a lair. Oh no, they discarded Besiege. Although maybe that was actually that was the last one they had, right? So should be fine here. Let's take four. Attack with everything for exacties. I won't bother searching, but it's just uh, running down our clock a little bit, I think. Okay, so we quite wanted to find the Talfa there, which is weird. Um, I wonder if we should be hitting them with loads of duresses. Trophy was really good. Soul Flayer was kind of medium. I think I'm going to trim one of those. Maybe bring in another duress. Um, I think we might cut Zatalpa as well. 
just maybe bring in the other duress. Let's just go with that. Right, what do we think of this? Uh, we can go founding on two into soul flare on three, but then we can't do anything with it. So we're gonna mulligan this. No, we have to mulligan this as well, unfortunately. Opponent's mulliganed. Uh, yeah, this is fine. We'll bottom one confluence, one gaze. Then, yeah, we're just trying to, just gonna try and turbo into an Atraxa. Thoughtseize is not bad, so we'll go Confluence. Uh, well, Thoughtseize first. Okay, so um, these are pretty good. I think we're just going to take Polychronos. Yeah. Although they can't actually cast though either of those without finding another green mana. Maybe we're just meant to take this. What if this transforms? Um Ah, oh, let's just take Belo Cronos, I think. So you play the Nykthos. Yeah, maybe we should have taken the Haven there. Okay, there's a Tazagur. If we dump so, uh, shock this in, if we dump all four cards into there, we could play Tazagur this turn. I think that's the play. Graveyard, 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 Tazagur. One, two, three, four, five. And then, yeah, kind of just hoping opponent can't do much about it. Okay, they've got a forest, so they could play the troll here. Ugh, cavalier. Okay, another duress, not the best, but let's go for a Traxa. So we'll go uh sanct uh yeah, we'll go sanctum, pithing needle uh gust soul flare play the sanctum, play the needle on I think just Khan Khan the great creator pass the turn. And then we're just going to try and bash them a load of times. We could gust the Cavalier. Although there's not much that we care about them putting on top. Although Polychronos does have reach, but I think we're fine if they just want to mess around doing stuff like that. Close game. Three mana. Old growth troll. Okay, well, we could just gust, but I think we're just smashing. Oh, that's pretty good draw as well, so we can mill them. If they okay, they don't do anything there. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're just going to hold up Gust now. Yeah, that's fine. Well, yeah, I think that's probably fine. Cavalier, which we'll Gust. Because then hopefully they'll block with the other Cavalier. Maybe we should have let that one resolve. 
and then gust it and then they put it on yeah don't know this is fine hopefully come on block they put it on top so we yeah we kind of want them to block here then we go m make them mill some cards um uh, what are we doing here we could just play the soul flare for no value but that doesn't really accomplish much um i guess we'll just do this uh okay no and then yeah we have to pass the turn and then we'll try and mill ourselves oh i suppose yeah and then we can potentially gust there's the cavalier hmm maybe that was wrong because now they put a khan into although we're naming khan with that so there's not actually that much in the graveyard Only got a minute though is the problem. Uh yes, yeah, so I will mill four. No point in playing this soul flare. Okay, they're putting Pelucranus on top. Okay, we'll just trophy the other one. They put Kiora. Did they put Kiora on top? Oh no, they didn't. Okay, so that's got reach. Oh, they're transforming it. Oh, it's got a lifelink as well. Oh, I guess we just. Oh, we can gust. Actually, we can just gust it. That should be enough. Come on. Yes! 27 seconds left, but we do win against Mono Green. So, yeah, really, really happy with that. Good, close games. Um, yeah, see you for the next round. Right, round number four. Certainly like to play first. And what do we think of this? It's no, no enablers. We have to mulligan this. We're against a Kahira deck. Not sure what that is. This hand's fine. Um, we'll get rid of the Zatalpa. This is turn three, potentially, I think. Um, just play Overgrown Tomb tapped. So yeah, turn two, we go Grizzly Salvage. Turn th Actually, uh, that puts five into the graveyard. Yeah. I think yeah, I think I'm definitely preferring Grizzly Salvage to the um uh what's it called? Strategic planning. Okay, so this and this. Looks like we're against control, so we're gonna do this now to play around some sort of counter spell. And we'll take the Dark Slick Shores, I think. This turn we will go for Hooting Mandrills, but probably won't go for the Neo form. Otherwise the gaze is actually pretty good. Uh, so let's go Shores, Mandrills. And we're delving everything out because we want to play around Make Disappear. Mm -hmm. 
got this gaze as well which is nice I think yeah plan A might just be beat them down with this hooting mandrills oh stomach denial is nice so we'll go graveyard graveyard top Hopefully we can untap. Trouble is, yeah, if the opponent has some sort of kill spell. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I think we, uh, we're just going to go to combat. Attack with the Hooting Mandrills. Then I'll play the Besiege we could keep hold of the Besiege, but I don't think it's going to matter. Question is, do we gaze here? I think we do. Uh, go graveyard, graveyard. I think we'll top a Tazaga though. Just as an additional threat in case, yeah, like we could play it now, but I, I don't think we're going to. I think we're just going to wait. Um, ah, oh, deluge. We could stub this. No, I think that's fine. I think, yeah, the opponent's got so many cards in hand. I think I'd rather keep up the dub for like a wandering emperor don't know maybe not but if they tap out for verdict as well we can then go tazigan neoform what they do. Field Ruin, uh, we binned our swamp which is a bit awkward. So probably not going to use the gaze here. Okay they do verdict which is actually fine. So now we'll gaze. Uh, so go graveyard, graveyard, top. Yeah, cause don't mind having a founding. Tazaga. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, maybe yeah, I think it's fine. Oh no, I've tapped wrong. Oh, hmm. If they have exactly spell pierce, we're in deep trouble. I sh yeah, I, I've just tapped the wrong land. Okay, fortunately not. Can't believe I did that. So now we really need a blue land as well. Oh, we actually don't find any lands there. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll take another Tazigur founding a brutality a gaze. Oh, that was yeah. That was that was just really stupid. Like holding up stub here would just have been insane. Like because now if they go to fairy, to fairy tick down is a problem. Yeah, just a 
lesson to be learned there. They could all say, well, yeah, farewell is awful as well. Yeah, just, just tap the wrong land. Okay, they field us. It's not farewell. Okay, well, we get away with it, fortunately. <laughs> So we'll mill some cards. Attack with the Traxxer. Good thing about Vigilance as well is uh, the Wandering Emperor can't do anything about it. I think we'll just Brutality them. Yeah. Uh, we'll do two modes. Although, actually, no, I think we won't because this way, yeah, this way um, we can pay if they if they say go, I don't know, um, a kill spell on a track cell, we stub and they make disappear. We can pay for pay for two with with these two. Okay, so we get their game one against control. So what are we bringing in? So probably this. I think we want the trophies. We definitely want the disputes and the extra stub and the duresses. Um, Eldritch Evolution can be a bit awkward. I think we can cut the foundings when we're bringing in disputes. Um, I think cut the Zatalpas again. Do we want... I mean, the Planeswalker probably isn't a bad shout. Um, do we want the trophies? Giving them land isn't great, but it is a way to kill Teferi. Uh, maybe we trim a Tazaga trim the Stripe River Winder, trim the Evolution, I kind of want to make room for the Liliana, well, it's quite mana heavy, Brutality's fine, is, well, is Brutality just weak as an extra duress, maybe we just do this, we we'll bring in the duresses, although collective Brutality, I think yeah Trim the evolution, bring in the brutality. Let's let's try this. Yeah, not convinced they're getting may yeah, the trouble is a lot of their stuff exiles, so an indestructible I suppose an indestructible hexproof thing, but they are running Okay, so probably shouldn't be siding out there's a Talpa here. Because making an indestructible soul flayer. But you, we'd need indestructible and hexproof, which isn't the easiest. Also, definitely Assassin's Trophy is good because the opponent is probably boarding in Rest in Peace. Which we want to make sure we can can deal with. Right, what have we got here? Uh, we're going to mulligan this. It's not really... You know, we haven't got any enablers. Really looking for, like, Grizzly Salvage and stuff. Yeah, this sounds really good. Turn one gaze, turn to Grizzly Salvage. Bottom of the attracts are here. I guess an issue is Yeah, turn to rest in peace. Apparently did Mulligan. Maybe we should have kept the stubborn denial hand for the uh stubbing the turn to rest in peace, but I don't think so. Let's gaze here. Uh, graveyard. All of these, I think. Okay, well, that's not bad. Um, what do we think? I think we'll just pass. We could Brutality, but I think next turn we'll just go Brutality Mandrills. 
got a sensor as well. Yeah, I really didn't want to run into a sensor. Okay, so they shock in. I think we'll go salvage here. Um, we've got a land, so we'll just take a soul flare. Okay, draw stubs, not bad. Um, I think we'll go brutality. Hold up, stub potentially. They could have like absorb, I guess. Okay, change the equation is pretty good against us. Uh, let's get rid of some stuff. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, because this counters. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just quite good against us. It counters all of our stuff. Okay. Well, I'm just going to attack here first, and I think we'll just play Soul Flare. Shock this in. Play Soul Flare. Although, well, how bad is that into. No, I think we're just going to pass again. Well, Shark Typhoon, okay, that's fine. Because, yeah, we really don't want to get um, Supreme Verdicted. I'll just ride this uh, Hooting Mandrills for a while. This is just good gaze. Um, go Graveyard. Do we want Liliana? We could go... T we're definitely graveyarding that. We could find the land, I guess. So we can go... Soul Flare. I wonder if we can undo. No, we can't. Okay. Uh, we'll go Graveyard with Liliana. Not really interested in her. don't actually think Liliana is I don't necessarily know we want that. What we were really looking for here was like a thought seize or um, something like that. A uh, trophy. Yeah, probably should have taken the land here. So are we going for Soul Flayer? If we go Soul Flare and they have Verdict, we're in quite a lot of trouble. Let's go for Soul Flare. Because it does threaten lethal next turn as well. Okay, they're absorbing, which is interesting. I wonder if I'm meant to stub that. Don't think so. So that probably means they don't have a uh, supreme verdict. Obviously, them gaining three is a bit annoying. Rest in peace. Okay, well we'll let that go. And then we'll probably trophy it. We'll be trophying it now is the question. Don't think so. Okay. Bash in. 
We'll probably trophy the rest in peace in their turn. At the moment, we're just happy to keep beating down with Hooting Man. Maybe we just don't care. Like, we haven't got anything that really matters with for rest in peace. I think we're just going to keep keep going at the moment. Uh, Grizzly Salvage, I suppose. Pass the turn. Another Shark Typhoon. Why is a 4 4? I wonder if I'm going to trophy the shark now. Okay, that green. Don't think we've got the land anymore. Okay. Um, what are we trophying? Should we just trophy the big shark? Just kind of not care about the rest in peace. Okay, Doom's VO. Okay, opponent's holding up three mana. Okay, so let's go salvage. Um, I guess we just take the mana confluence. So here, yeah, we've, I think we just have to go for the Neo 4. Oh, that's a really good draw. Okay, so let's go Neo form. That's a really, really good draw. Let's hope the opponent doesn't have Dovin's Veto. If they got Dovin's Veto, we lose. But I think we—I don't think we can play around another Dovin's Veto. They cycle sensor. So it's not another Dovin's Veto. Make disappear with casualty. Okay, so what we do here is we just go. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then we'll dispute this one. Because Stubborn Denial with a Traxxer is obviously just negate. Mana Confluence, Dispute, Thoughtseize, Taziger. Hopefully we haven't played a land yet. Oh, we have. That's rough. Okay. So hopefully the opponent doesn't have verdict, farewell, to fairy. <laughs> There's quite a lot they can do. They add Kahira. I mean, yeah, that's not going to do it. They got one card in hand. Okay, well that can just win, obviously. So we'll thought seize first. Okay, so yeah, we just win the game. I guess we play this, doesn't really matter. Okay. And attracts it yeah, so yeah, that seemed that seemed fine. Um happy to get there. So we're three and two. See you for the fifth and final round. Right, we're on the draw here. We got Thought Season to Grizzly Salvage and we've got Soul Flare as well, but maybe this is fine. Let's try this. Like the obviously the Zatalpa is pretty annoying, but we've got collective brutality potentially to let us discard that. Okay. Okay, so it looks like potentially Grease Fang We'll lead off with Blooming Marsh Thought Seas. Founding's pretty good actually. Thought 
sees you. Yeah, is Grease Fang. Okay, so. Hmm. Double Rafine's Informant is pretty annoying. Because we can't do anything about that. Can this get back a creature? Mail three, return a land. I guess we'll take that. Like it deals with it, they can kill our founding with it if they really want. So we're gonna play the watery grave here. Okay, they discard Parhelion as expected. So we need to fade Grease Fang here. They didn't have it. Okay, another founding. So we'll go Watery Grave, yes. Founding. Uh, yeah, it's done one. Salvage. take a Tazaga. So yeah, next turn we can potentially, we can either Soul Flayer or Tazaga. Okay, hopefully the opponent hasn't got it here. There's another informant. So yeah, need to, I mean hopefully we, if we can mill, if we could go ahead and mill I don't know, the Talfur Traxa would be <laughs> insane. But um Yeah, we'll settle for probably settle for just the Traxa. Okay, they've been a chariot, they find the land. They shock it in as well. Wonder what that's about. They haven't got um they could have that vessel thing, I guess. Okay, we draw mana confluence, which is obviously no good really. We'll mill four. See what we hit. S main deck silence. Oh, well, that's pretty good. So we do hit as a talper. So I guess we just go breeding pool pass. The next turn we'll cast Oh did it, oh yeah we can't actually cast Tazaga, can we? Um Yeah, otherwise because we milled the Neo form we would have been able to put an attractor into play. I'll dead to Grease Fang here. But opponent's only got two cards in hand. One of them's a land. Please don't be Grease Fang. Chariot's fine. Sorin is less fine. Uh, return target creature with. M okay, so that's an interesting. That's an interesting one. Why has this got lifelink? Creatures and planeswalkers have. Oh, right, okay, so. Sure. So we're going to have to do something here. So we can cast. Hmm. What are we casting from the graveyard, if anything? Do we want to cast anything? Could cast Grizzly Salvage, or would we rather just cast. I think we just want to cast Tazaga Soul Flayer. Opponent hasn't got any cards to thought seize. I think we're just gonna cast both of these things. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna cast both. If we had something in there. And then next turn we can just go founding Neoform. So this isn't a May ability, so we do have to exile. No, but we don't have to cast. 
Okay, so we're going to go to 5, but I think that's fine. 1, uh, 2, 3, 4. And then we'll cast the Tazaga as well. Uh, one, two, three, four. So, yeah, this can deal us some damage, but... So next time we're going to go to four, and potentially three. Still dead to Grease Fang. Also potentially dead to like a mill spell. Eee, please don't hit. Okay, they they hit Rafine's Informant, so they can put that into play if they want. But I think next turn we should be okay. We get to kill Sorin as well. What did they choose? Yeah, they chose Rafine's informant. So yeah, I think we'll just attack with Soul Flayer, kill the Sorin. We could attack with Tazaga as well. If we attack with Tazaga as well, they let's say they double block. They've then got one Rafine's informant. No, I don't think we want to do that. Okay, there's an Atraxa. Okay, so yeah, I think we'd rather have this because we're more likely to survive. Okay. So yeah, let's kill Sorin, just cuts their outs. And then yeah, we're just founding into Neoform. Attack Sorin. Got Vigilance as well. <laughs> go founding this this on three cast neo form sack the Tazaga Tracks are into play. Okay, so what are we going to take? Uh, there's no land that comes in untapped, so we'll just take a uh, Blooming Marsh. Uh, we'll take a backup Neo form. We'll take a stub, a Taziga, a founding. Actually, I kind of want collective brutality. Because if they. Oh, I don't think it matters. I'll play the Sanctum. Yeah, they've got one draw. Um, I don't even know if... Actually, I don't think Grease Fang is good enough here. Because this has... Um, let's say they go Grease Fang, Parhelion, attack with everything. We go... Block, Parhelion, go to 11. Block an Angel... Uh, yeah, we might still be dead to Grease Fang. Or Traverse, potentially. They've got Sorcery, Artifact, Land, 
planeswalker, yeah. Okay, fortunately they don't find it. Probably were still dead there to um to Grease Fang. Okay, so we'll bring in the Pithing Needle, the two Ray of Enfeeblements, and that's oh the Assassin's Trophies. And then we'll side out probably the stubs. And probably the brutalities. Yeah, I think brutality can go. About founding's probably fine. Um, they're probably bringing in. Uh, what's it called? Not rest in peace. They've probably got ley line. So what else to be side out? Zatalfo is quite good there, although without collective brutality, maybe it's a little bit more awkward. Have they got any way of interacting with our stuff anyway? Do we need the Riverwinder? I think Riverwinder is probably fine. Uh, let's cut. Let's just cut one. See how we get on. Okay, thought sees into founding, and we have an assassin's trophy as well. Trouble is, we don't have any other enablers or either part of the combo, so I think we're going to mulligan. This is much better. Um, I think we'll just keep this and just bottom the watery grave, making sure that we can turn one thought sees is big. We've got both parts of the combo. Need to find an enabler. Opponent has kept seven. Okay. They got the Thoughtseize. They do. Okay, so our hand is, it's not Thoughtseize proof, but at least we are going to be able to interact with them. Wouldn't be surprised to see them take Soul Flare here. Yep, they do indeed. Okay. Let's see. So we could do it during like Tazaga or. Okay, just another Soul Flare. Classic, uh, <laughs> classic Thoughtseize bug. Okay, so we'll Dark Lake Shores Thoughtseize. It's thought seizing each other into oblivion. Uh, traverse, double Rafine's informant. Okay, so we're just going to take the traverse. That's what finds them, Grease Fang. This turn will probably thought seize again. If we don't have anything else to do, like thought seize taking another Rafine's informant isn't too bad. And they're conniving as well, so they've drawn two fresh cards. Obviously, they're going to discard the Parhelion. And at worst comes to work, worst case, we just hit the Rafine's Informant. Oh, that's actually a really good draw. I was going to say the um, the awkward thing would be if we hit Grizzly Salvage or something, but um, that's actually a really good draw. So, Thought Seizing again. So, they have Wither Bloom Command and a Rafine's Informant. I think we're just taking, yeah, it's just the Rafine's Informant here. So they don't have much left. They do have a land, so top decking Grease Fang is just lethal, pretty much. Might even be just lethal. Okay, they find Razor Verge Thicket, which is fine. With a blooming, okay. So they hit Grease Fang, and they get Godless Shrine back. So they've got two lands in hand. We're going to go to eleven, go to ten, but then we can probably cast this Soul Flayer. Wouldn't mind hitting some of the cool things to delve out with the Soul Flare here. 
Rate of enfeeblement is weirdly okay. Hmm. No, I think we're just I think we're just binning maybe even all of those. Cause then we can just go if we bin all th all of them, go soul flayer. Like we're dead to that anyway. I think we're just going to go. Why don't we top the? Let's go graveyard. If we go graveyard, graveyard, and then top this, then we draw it, and then we can hold it up for a tracker. I think that's probably fine. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, I need. Four. I always forget you only need four for Soul Flayer. Uh, yeah, Soul Flayer blocks the Rafine's informant. So yeah, we just we're essentially giving the opponent one turn. Like if they top deck Grease Fang now, we lose. But if not, we probably win. Uh, well, I suppose they could also find Thought Seize. Oh no, okay, they just pack it in. Well, that's good. Um, yeah, really happy with the deck. Bit unfortunate with the Rogues one, but yeah, really, really happy otherwise. Um, yeah, not much more to say, really. Um, I think the, yeah, the Soul Flare plan seemed really, really good. Didn't actually come up any of these Ritual of Soots or Liliana. The Assassin's Trophy was actually really good as well. Um, but, but yeah, don't know, Eldritch Evolution didn't come up, but don't really know what I don't think I'd change too much here. So um so yeah, pretty pretty happy. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Please do consider subscribing. Please let me know if there's uh if you've got any comments on any other plays, always always keen to try and improve. But for now, see you again next time. Cheers. <laughs>